Hello and welcome back. This is Arun Patwardhan and today I will be talking about loops in scripts. If we look at our script, we will notice that there are some repetitive tasks that are performed over and over again. While that is not a problem, it is not exactly efficient. Loops help us address that. There are a couple of ways that this could be done. Let us have a look. We will be looking at two ways of looping. For loop and while loop. For loops work on a collection of data in the sequence in which they appear. A for statement looks like this. It starts with the keyword for, followed by the variable that will hold the value for the for loop. Next, we provide the data collection. This can also be the output of a command. The two keyword marks the beginning of the set of statements to be executed repeatedly. Next, we have the statements that are to be executed. The loop is closed off with the done keyword. The for loop is useful when you have a well-defined collection of values to work with. As we will see later in the article, arrays provide just such a source. However, output of commands can also be useful. Next, we will have a look at while loops. While loops also perform tasks repeatedly. But unlike for loops, which go on over a collection of data, while loops loop till a certain condition is satisfied. So we need to use the test conditions we learned earlier to control how many times the loop should run. Let us have a look. First, we have the while keyword. This is followed by the condition check. In this case, we are checking to see if a file does exist or not. The keyword do marks the beginning of the block, followed by the block, followed by the done keyword. While for loops and while loops do the same thing, there are some minor differences. We can control how long a for loop is going to run by choosing the appropriate amount of data. For a while loop, however, we need a condition to be satisfied. This may be achieved by an external event, like a file being deleted in the previous example. Which one to choose depends on what we are trying to do and what we have available. Let us look at our folder creator script to see how we could use these in a real script. Let us scroll down to the point where we are actually creating our script, the folders itself. And you will notice that there are a lot of rep repetitive steps. We are performing a check to see if a folder exists. If it doesn't, we create it and we do it again for the three different folders. It's the same code repeated again and again. And also the part where we have to create a hidden file in each folder. It's the same thing we are doing again and again. These are ideal candidates to be replaced with some sort of a loop. Now, we will be using a for loop to optimize a code, and we will immediately see why it makes a big difference. To start off, we won't be needing the variables that we use for creating the hidden files. So I will delete those lines of code and I will come down here where we're going to start creating the folders. Now, as I said, I will be using a for loop for this. So I'll go in with for item, that's the variable that will store the name in. And now I will just list out the three different folders that we need to work with. Tools folder, reports folder, Help folder. Do. And 
we will use the same if but instead of using the tools folder here we will work with item now because the same command is going to be run again and again we do not need these remaining if else statements also I can move the creation of the hidden file into this for loop just updating the variables that I'm using closing the for loop with a dub. So similarly, we do not need these extra statements. And there you go. We have very quickly updated our code and condensed it down and made it a lot more compact with the help of a for loop. To summarize, loops make the code more compact. We write the repeatable task only once and not the number of times we want it to execute. This makes the script more efficient and scalable. In the future, if we want to increase or decrease the number of times a task is done, then we simply change the loop count. It's a quicker and safer way to implement repeatable tasks. Thank you.